Hey, what's going on guys? It's your host Super Science here and I just wanted to say that I'm really sorry for the lack of uploads recently. I've just been on a really long vacation, but I'm back now and I'm ready for uploads. And here's just a little hint. If you leave a like on this video, 100% not fake, 100% real, not a scam, you'll receive a Pikachu at your front door. Yes, if you open your front door right now, right after you leave a like, you will instantly get a Pikachu. Also, if this video gets a thousand likes, I'll post another video next week. The topic of this video is DCEU Flash versus MCU Quicksilver. Silver. Let's start the video off with MCU Quicksilver. The truth is, MCU Quicksilver's max speed was already calculated by Gubbs, but in order to increase my video time for more money, I'm going to go over his brief history on screen. Quicksilver grew up in a fictional country known as Sokovia. Its exact location is unknown, however, it's placed somewhere in Eastern Europe. Quicksilver is the twin brother of Scarlet Witch. You know, the girl who could move things around with her mind. Anyways, they were taken in by Hydra, and they got their powers after getting experimented on. After Hydra supposedly died, they took sides with Ultron in order to fight against Tony Stark. But after seeing Ultron's intentions for the world, which is pretty much apocalypse and genocide, they joined sides with the Avengers, and they all lived happily ever after. Oh, and I forgot, Quicksilver got shot. Multiple times. Oh yeah, and he also died. So yeah, that happened. Yep, Quicksilver is just about as dead as a doornail. Or better yet, he's as dead as my love life. <laughs> Get it? Because I never had a girlfriend, I need to go out more. So now that I've wasted enough time, Gubbs calculated that this version of Quicksilver can run up to Mach 4. And Gubbs also used the Pythagorean Theorem as well as the Velocity Formula in order to solve for Quicksilver speed. The link to his video will be in the description below. Now we're going to be solving for DCEU Flash, or Ezra Miller Flash. We haven't seen very much of this Flash except for his brief cameo in Suicide Squad, as well as his brief appearances in the trailers for the Justice League movie. And we can't use this scene because this scene pretty much failed. And we can't use this scene because Gubbs already calculated that he would only be moving at 28.1 miles per hour. Now watch this. This scene is extremely important because it allows us to see Barry's perception of time, which we can use in our calculation for his speed. Now this is something I found interesting, Barry avoids a laser. Now, assuming that this was a laser, the blast would be clocking in at light speed. Assuming this weapon was created by any sort of particle beam technology, it could be ranging from any speed up until the speed of light. Here's the scene I got for calculating his speed. In the scene, time is obviously slowed. This is where Barry's perception of time comes in big. Because if he actually ran by you, it would look like a flash. Get it? Because the superhero's name is Flash and I use the word flash in my sentence. It's a joke. Come on, someone laughed, right? I'm sorry, it's probably just me. Since the total time that actually occurred was 2 seconds, we can divide 2 by 62 and see that the actual time that occurred was 0.032 seconds. With a little bit of estimation, we can assume that the total distance was 100 yards or 91.44 meters. Plugging in our variables for the formula for velocity, velocity equals distance divided by time, we get that Flash can run at 2,834.64 meters per second. In more conventional units, that's 6,341 miles per hour, or 10,204 kilometers per hour, 8.26 times the speed of sound. But we're not done yet, because the flash can get even faster. And I'm extremely proud of the fact that I dug this deep to get this information. I mean, I deserve a cookie and a clap on the back. Is it clap or pat? Anyways, hidden in a split second of the end credits of Suicide Squad, we can see Barry's profile which shows that he can run at the speed of light, or perceive things at the speed of light. First off, if this meant that he could perceive things at light speed, I could finally figure out who keeps stealing my pencils. Larry, I know it's you. Anyways, we can use the speedster equation to calculate his speed based upon his perception of time. But before we use the equation, we need to find a few requirements first. In order for something to appear invisible to the human eye, objects need to move at speeds of up to 38,146 miles per hour. 
Since we're assuming that the flash can perceive things at light speed, one second for us would feel like 4,883 seconds for him. Applying that value to the speedster equation, velocity equals 6.7 meters per second times the time over 1, we can get that the flash can run at Mach 95. Or he could just run at the speed of light and I did all this math for nothing. So the winner of this one is DCEU Flash. And if you haven't already done so, please don't forget to leave a like on this video, it's greatly appreciated. Also, please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll know whenever I post a video. And if you're still watching right now and enjoy my content, please be sure to check out some of my previous videos.